it's certainly been on my mind and heart a lot the last couple of days. I followed that story really closely and I absolutely celebrate their release and know that from my own experiences anyway, like the, the road back, coming back into the world after such an intense and unique life-changing experience can be really hard and you know it's not made easier by public judgment and criticisms you know which I I also went through you know to I, I believe you know in a to a different level than what the Boyles are going through um, I think people should just have some compassion for those individuals right now. I mean, they have been through a lot, like more than any human should have to. And I just hope that they can find some really good psychological care. I found that myself to be challenging when I returned to Canada because the experience is so unique, how to find somebody that's qualified with deal to deal with all of those aspects of an experience like that. And once I found that individual, which for me was in New York, um, and it came a few years later. Like that was a real turning point in my recovery, and I hope that they can find, you know, some really good help, and also just take some time to, um, for themselves, you know, like away from the spotlight and everyone's curiosity and questions, you know, to 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 enjoy the sky over their head and you know being reunited with their families and all those things that they surely will have missed so much. I would say be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself, um, allow yourself to feel um, all the emotions that are going to come. I would also recommend trying to find a skilled therapist to work through uh, your issues. And if you don't feel like you think you should feel now that the kids are home, it's it's okay. I I had all these expectations of when Amanda came home, of parties and joy and and actually I had a pretty huge breakdown. So nothing was what I thought it would be.